so I'm really excited to bring you this video today. This is my current iPhone setup. It's obviously a stock iPhone 4. It's running iOS 4.2.1. I'll just go into settings and then into general and then into about. Just to show you here, it's running 4.2.1. I'm on T-Mobile, just up the top there. And I wanted to show you some of the applications that I've got on my iPhone 4 and then also I'm going to show you that I'm actually jailbreaking this today using the Green Poison Jailbreak app. Now at the moment stock iOS 4.2.1 you can see some of my favorite apps here I use the Squarespace app every single day this is for updating my website at geekanoids.co.uk and also for approving comments I've got my Pulse news application there and this is where you get some of my tweets from it brings in the latest news feeds from the websites that I find interesting and I can push those out to Twitter also TweetDeck which is my uh, iPhone app of choice for updating my Twitter feed if I go across to the second panel let's see what games I've been playing lately this is the game selection I've got on here I don't play a lot of games but we've got Angry Birds uh, Scramble CE obviously game centers on there mirrors edge cut the rope and fishing kings so let's go back out and we're looking books and magazines so i read the 360 magazine mac user zinio happy fight found its way into that folder for some reason that's one of the games i also play ibooks i hardly ever use and i've got epicurious there for my recipes yes i do cook and eat productivity i've got box.net evernote Dragon Dictation, obviously iDisk, to-dos I use, and also Dropbox. I'm a big user of Dropbox. And then we've got Entertainment. I've got my Sky Plus application for scheduling recordings. I've also got TV Guide in there and Cineworld. And then in Photography, plenty of photography apps. I've got Hipstamatic, Camera Plus, Super 8, which I've yet to really use, Flickr, Daily Booth, gallery and Instagram I like Instagram a lot it's probably one of my favorite ones in that ca category we've got eBay PayPal and Skype iMovie the remote application from Apple TomTom Tom, UK and Ireland RunKeeper I haven't really used but I do intend to use that in the future and then we've got Shop Savvy which is for scanning barcodes and getting better prices we've got Tumblr Kindle and also Simple Timer Scroll across to the right, we've got another timer application there, which is very, very good. I use that for my two minutes of tech videos. The MQAN app, my own Geekanoids app, National Lottery. We all want to win the lottery one day, maybe it'll happen to me one day. And then uh, I can buy all the iPhones that I want. Twitter and also WordPress. So let's go back to the uh, home screen. And I'm going to... Uh, switch over now to put this inset on the screen and I'll show you uh, the Green Poison app running that I'm going to use to jailbreak my iPhone 4. So here's the Green Poison app you can see on my desktop at the moment. This is what I downloaded earlier. I've opened up the README file. It tells me to plug my device into the computer using the USB cable. I've already done that. It's plugged into my computer. Quit iTunes if it shows up, which it has. And then it's telling me to start the Green Poison app. So let's double click on this first question it's asking is am I jailbreaking an Apple TV or well, no I'm not so let's get rid of that let's just close this window down as well and we will start the jailbreak going it's telling me I've got to get ready to start I'm going to be asked to press and hold the sleep button which is uh, this one on the top then I'm going to be uh, continuing to hold the sleep button and press and hold the home button which is this one here and then I'm going to release the sleep button and continue holding home. So let's click jailbreak. Now if I do go wrong, there's a little reset set button here which I can always press. So let's get ready and we're going to click jailbreak. So let's get ready to start. Five, four, three, two, one. Press and hold the sleep button. Press and hold both buttons together. And it's counting down and then I'm going to release the sleep button and keep holding the home button at the bottom here I think I can release there we go so we've got the white screen 
end it should jailbreak the device so here we go this is it jailbreaking now whilst this is jailbreaking I'm going to uh, just continue reading it says the device will reboot normally and when it's uh, restarted I can start the loader application which is the green icon and follow the instructions to install Cydia so we're going to let this run its course let's hope this is worth it guys now I suppose the only thing that I would say is this um, app at the moment it's obviously still doing something but we've got no sort of real progress bar going across the bottom which is a bit of a shame but we should be grateful for what it's doing this is what you're going to see on your iPhone screen and there we go we've got that spinning logo there which looks like it's been successful really excited to do this and once I've actually jailbroken it I'm going to download the Cydia app and uh, then that's all I'm going to do in this video I'm then going to play with the iPhone for probably about a week to two weeks and then I'll bring you an update video in the future and that will show you uh, what applications I've downloaded um, how I'm finding it using a jailbroken phone and uh, whether in my opinion it's been worth it I'm sure it will be I'm really excited to get to try this it looks like it's restarting again it's obviously restarting still here we go so it's asking for my passcode so this should be complete so I'm now going to uh, swipe to the right and the right again we've got the loader icon that was mentioned so we can tap the loader icon it's saying loading sources and then we're going to tap on here and install Cydia and this is going to give me access to all of the applications and themes that are available in the Cydia store very very excited about this success so we've got a nice success icon come up there so now if I go back out to the home screen and I should have on here oh there we go so it's, it's rebooting and on this restart we have got the Cydia application installed so we can start that up initializing file system this seems quite a lengthy process but it's saying that Cydia will exit when this process is complete there we go it's now doing a restart again so that's the jailbreak complete now I'm going to just go across to this screen here we can see the Cydia app there ready to load we've got some uh, fantastic times ahead with this jailbroken iPhone 4 really pleased that I did this a big thank you to at flawless fox uh, at iPhone helper and at Apple blogs all of whom uh, egged me on to do this uh, particular jailbreak and um, even at this stage I'm pleased I did it over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be experimenting with various downloads and tweaks and I'll bring you all an update video very soon thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video